Hello everyone, welcome to my Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, we'll be writing our first Java program. So let's begin. Now, first of all, we'll have to create a Java project. And for doing that, go to File, Select New, Java Project. Okay, and we'll have to provide some name for it. So I'm giving the name as Test. Okay, and click on Finish. So we have our project ready. Now, inside this, we'll have to create a class file. So for doing that, just right click on the project, select new class. Okay. And uh, again, we'll have to provide some name for it. So I'm giving the name as hello world. And uh, uh, apart from this, we are going to need this thing uh, in our program. So I'm just checking this checkbox. Okay. And then click on finish. So we have our setup ready. Okay. Now before starting, I'll just tell you what this is guys. So this is the main method or the main function and this marks the start of our program execution. So whenever we run our Java application, this method or this function will get executed first. Now again, don't worry about the terms method or function right now. So for now, just consider it as some block of code which has a name. So this block of code with the name main will get executed first when we run our program. So let's begin. And also you will find that in all, almost all my programs, I've written the code inside this main uh, block of code. Okay. So let's begin. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, print something on the screen. And for doing that, we have a statement in Java called as system.out.println. So I say system.out.println. Ellen. Okay. So this is the statement which we, we will be using uh, for printing anything on the screen. So uh, whatever you give it to this method or this uh, uh, statement, it will print it on the screen. Let's say, for example, if we want to print some text, then we'll have to use double quotes and inside the double quotes, you specify any string which you want to print. So let's say hello world. Okay. So this uh, code will just print hello world onto the screen or the console. So let's run this. And yes, you can see uh, hello world is printed on the screen. Now, uh, I'm just going to add two more um, uh, statements over here. And guys, for system.out.println, Eclipse has a shortcut, uh, which says sys out, and then you uh, press control space. So it will automatically generate the statement for you. Now. I'm going to write uh, two more uh, statements like this entering main and similarly over here sysout control space leaving main. Now what I've done is I've just created uh, two marker statements. Now what a marker statement means uh, it marks the start and end of a particular block of code. Now, again, this is not compulsory, but it is a good programming practice if we use this uh, because it, it becomes easier for us to uh, debug the uh, the program in when the, the, the program is uh, really complex. So this is not mandatory, but uh, yes, it is recommended to use this type of style. And I've used this in um, some of my uh, projects and yeah, I'll be using this in some of my projects, uh, which I'm going to teach you. Okay. So that's it. Now let's run this program again and see if it works fine. And yes, uh, as you can see, the first statement which gets displayed is entering main. Then we have our hello world statement and then again leaving main. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorial.